wanted to invite frogs into your backyard, you'd build a beautiful pond surrounded by leafy plants, fronds, and rocks. But I'm willing to bet you've never thought about providing food to bring insects to your garden, right? But come on, who wouldn't want one of these winged wonders hanging about? Joe Hammond is going to show us just how easy it can be. To tell you the truth, Joe, I've never thought about using food to attract insects to the yard, but it sounds kind of cool. Yes, it's really important uh, to attract beneficial insects into the garden. Things like ladybirds, because they eat aphids, um, bees, because uh, they pollinate your plants, uh, and butterflies, um, they also are pollinators. Great, so are you ready to share all your little secrets about how to entice these butterflies to the garden? Yes, I will, and it comes down to two things. Having the right plants, the nectar plants for the butterflies to sip their nectar, and host plants for the butterflies to lay their eggs on so the caterpillars can eat them. So, Alex, butterflies are looking uh, for healthy plants. It's no good uh, laying uh, your egg uh, on a plant uh, that's gonna, not going to feed the caterpillar. Uh, and butterflies, they're very host specific, which means they're very fussy about what plants that they will lay their eggs on. Okay. So take this plant, have a feel of this. So raspy and sandpapery. That's right, it's called the sandpaper fig. It's appropriate. Now the butterfly that lays its eggs on this is called the purple moonbeam. Uh, and this butterfly will come down and it will taste this leaf to make sure it's the right leaf and they don't taste with their mouth like we do, they taste with their feet. So you will actually see a butterfly doing a little dance on the leaf, and what it is doing is tasting the leaf. Wow. Lots of butterflies like to lay their eggs on spiky plants like this one. This is very spiky, be careful. Um, because it stops the birds being able to feed on the caterpillars again. All right, let's talk more action. Let's get our hands dirty. There's no point picking the most delicious pink lime berry if you don't know how to plant it and look after it. So luckily, Joe is going to share some of her green thumb tips on how to keep it alive. So Joe, what do we do? So at the moment, I'm digging a nice big hole to put the plant in. And then I'm going to add some lovely, good quality native compost. Nice dark soil. Lovely. And I'm going to add... A bit of fertiliser. Pinch of organic fertiliser. And then this is a secret gardener's tip to get your plant out. Tap the top first. Special tap. And it comes out really easily. Look at that. And In then. the hole. And then you get your watering can, with some liquid seaweed. Oh, liquid seaweed, yummy. And you make sure you water the leaves as well as the roots. So once you've planted it, what about carrying it and looking after it? What you need to do is mulch around the outside. Right. That keeps the ground nice and moist. Water it regularly, and then once a month, water it again with liquid seaweed. So now we have to do is sit back and wait for those colorful wings to show up. We do, and you have to remember, you're not planting the plant for you, you're planting the plant for the butterflies.